For the Kim family, Christmas Day is family reunion time. This year, 35 uncles, cousins, nephews, nieces, aunts, and other relatives have traveled up to several hundred miles to celebrate the holiday together. The Kim family comes from South Korea, a country that lies at the far eastern edge of Asia. Most have been here for many years, but they still practice many Korean customs. For example, visitors leave their shoes in the Kim's front hallway, and the family's Christmas tree is decorated with many traditional Korean ornaments. Miniature shoes like these, for example, were once pinned on the dresses of Korean women. A tiny ceremonial drum, another example, is a reminder of an important instrument played at Korean harvest festivals. All the Kims bring food to the celebration. Their Korean delicacies make for an especially tasty buffet. In fact, everybody seems to appear from nowhere as soon as all the food is placed on the table. Before the delicacies are eaten, however, a prayer is recited. <laughs> After dinner, the family plays games. The first is called Watto. It's a pastime the men of the Kim family have enjoyed every Christmas for many years. <laughs> Then some of the women start a game of yute. To play, sticks are thrown into the air. Depending on how they land, the player gets to move the wooden markers to certain locations on the game board. In addition to games, music plays a big role in the Kim's Christmas celebration. And it's a good thing, too, because nobody gets a Christmas present until she or he plays a musical instrument or sings a song. about singing for your present at the Kim's Christmas reunion is that nobody is expected to perform perfectly. I can't remember. <laughs> Getting up in front of all those people is the thing that counts. <laughs> 